In this tutorial, we'll use Creator's beat matching feature to create seamless crossfades between songs in a music mix that's ideal for parties, workout tapes, road trips, or just hanging out. Start in Creator and click Music Audio, and then create Music Disc Projects. Music Disc Creator opens. Select the Audio CD Project Type at the top left. You can add audio tracks already on your hard drive, import from CD or DVD, or record audio. We'll use the first option. Click Add Audio Tracks to import songs already on your local or networked hard drives. Media Selector opens. To select non-sequential songs, press the Control key and then choose the desired songs with your pointer. Or touch a song, press the Shift key and then select sequentially. Click Add to add songs to the mix. And once you've finished adding songs, click Close to return to Music Disk Creator. Here are the songs we just chose. Now let's name the mix. Click the Rename button and type in a new name. When you add songs to a mix, Music Disk Creator inserts a short gap between the songs. Click here and choose Overlap with Previous Track to create a crossfade. And type the desired transition time here or choose Beat Matching and a Duration. Music Disc Creator will automatically synchronize the beats of the two songs, so the crossfade is super smooth, like a pro DJ would do in your favorite nightclub. You can listen to the crossfade by clicking this speaker icon. Or, for best results, you can apply beat matching to the entire mix. Click Beat Match, and Music Disc Creator analyzes the tempo of each track in your playlist and reorders the tracks to best match songs with similar tempos. This produces more seamless fades between songs, which is great for keeping energy on the dance floor. Click OK to start. Music Disc Creator analyzes and reorders your mix to place songs with closely matching beats together and inserts crossfades between songs. The default crossfade length is 20 seconds, although some fades may be longer depending on the degree of difference between the beats of the two neighboring songs. You can adjust the duration if necessary, or even revert back to a normal, non-beat matched crossfade. You can adjust the mix by dragging and dropping any song to any location. Just note the song's beats per minute in this column. If the beats per minute is very different between adjacent songs, the transition may be rough. To smooth this out, try increasing the length of the crossfade by clicking the transition and typing in a longer interval. Keep tweaking and previewing until you're satisfied. Then it's time to export your finished mix. You can burn it to disk, send it to a portable device like your cell phone or iPod, or export it to your hard drive. 